Yo, 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 Toy Designer! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ever wonder how to control a stepper motor using Touch Designer in an Arduino? Well, I'm your man. Today, this will be the end goal of the course. We will use a slider inside of Touch Designer to control the speed of this stepper motor. And the stepper motor is connected to a micro step driver and a power supply. So we will be sending a serial connection from the PC to the Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno will control the micro step driver and the micro step driver will, will control the speed of this stepper motor. If we take a look at the hardware components, these are the four components we will need today. A power supply, a micro step di driver, a microcontroller, an Arduino Uno in my case, and a stepper motor. These two components I got from AliExpress. This one and this one I bought uh, somewhere else. The first connection we'll need is from the micro step driver to a power supply. In this case, we need a voltage between 9 and 42 volts DC. Then we'll connect the stepper motor, the two coils of the stepper motor, to the micro step driver. Um, afterwards, we will connect the Arduino Uno to the micro step driver and we will send two signals to the micro step driver. That is the direction of the stepper motor and the pulses which control the speed of the stepper motor. In my case, it's on port 2, the direction, and on port 3, the pulses I will send to control the speed. The rest of the calls, they will be connected to the ground. And then, we will need a serial connection to the PC. So this is a micro USB, no, a USB type B connection to a USB connection on the PC. And we will use a serial communication. In Touch Designer, I made a small visualizer how everything technically works. So a stepper motor consists of two main components. Is a stator and it is a rotor. And the stator it will not move. The rotor will try to align itself. You can see it as a, a magnet according to the magnetic field that is creating uh, on the stator. This signal we will be sending from the Arduino to the micro step driver. So just the pulse. It will constantly generate a 0 and a 1. A high and a low, so 0 volts and 5 volts. If we increase the number of steps, we will increase the motor speed. So if we decrease this, the motor speed will also decrease. The other thing that we can control is the direction. So if it gets a zero, he will move counterclockwise. If he gets a one, he will move clockwise. In Touch Designer, this slider will control the motor speed. This slider is the same as the slider in here. Also, the button here is the same like this button. What we'll do is we'll put the slider in the matchup. We rearrange this from 1 to 30. Then we calculate the delay based on the LFO that I'm sending over here. So based on this frequency. And this is a null. And we will refer to this null in this chop execute. Like you can see in here, this is refers to this delay. 
and the channel is channel 1. And we will do something when this value changes. What we'll do? We'll send the value to the operator serial 1. Serial 1, this is the operator. And he will communicate this over COM port 3. And how can we determine what is the COM port which the Arduino Uno is on? Well, we need to go into our settings. No, not the settings, it's the device manager, I think. Yeah. And then we see here the ports. And the USB serial device is on COM port 3. So the Arduino Uno is on COM port 3. So the only thing we'll be sending to the Arduino is this value. I want to send the direction as well, but I don't know how to send two values over a serial connection to the Arduino. I think that's a limitation, but perhaps if someone knows how to send two values over a serial connection, it would be nice. I can implement that and put it in the comments below. Next up, the Arduino. We open up Arduino IDE. And this is the code. We will control two output pins on the Arduino, the DIR and the pull. DIR corresponds to the direction, the pull with the pulses. This is the pull, this is the DIR. First of all, we will say that the DIR is on port 2 of the Arduino, the pull is on port 3. This will correspond with the delay we sent from Test Designer. So this value corresponds with this. Then there is the setup. We will initiate a serial connection. We will say that the pull is an output and that there is an output as well. In here, you will write the dir constantly high, meaning it will move clockwise. Here, you will see it moves counterclockwise, which corresponds with a zero. If we change the direction, so a high, you will move clockwise. In initial, the delay of touch designer will be zero. Over here, we will see the loop. So first of all, we say if there is something on the serial connection, so it's greater than zero, then we say the delay of touch designer equals everything that you read on the serial connection. So he will read in this value into the Arduino, then this loop will generate the pulses. You see in here, you will set the pull high, you will wait a certain time, then you'll set it low, and then you will wait a second time. And if you repeat this process, you will generate this pulse uh, that you can see over here. So if you decrease the delay, the frequency will go up. If you increase the delay, you will see that the frequency will increase. This will correspond to a slower stepper motor. If you increase the frequency, you will also increase the motor speed. Now we will try to compile the sketch. Compiling, okay, not a problem. Then we'll have to check, in my case, the Arduino is on COM port 3, the same as in Touch Designer. We will try to send it, but we'll get an error message. 
meaning in touch designer will also be controlling this COM port. So we have to deactivate the serial connection first. And then we can upload the sketch. Now the sketch is uploaded. We have to activate the serial connection again. And now we can move the server motor. If we've implemented the code, this will be the end result. If we move the slider to the right, so increase the frequency, the stepper motor will move faster. There is still one hardware setting that you should know of, and that is on the microstep driver itself. These pins I set to off, 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 on, off, on, which corresponds to off, 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 off here. So the most number of micro steps on, off, on says that the current will be limited to 1.2 ampere. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. In the future, I will do uh, the same video, but not using an Arduino, but using a Raspberry Pi, and then controlling the Raspberry Pi using Touch Designer. Thank you for watching, and see you next time! Yeah, 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 yeah! yeah.